Hello, hello everyone. This GPIO, general purpose input and output. Basically, this session will bring you some information about the GPIOs, the fundamentals and uh, the functional diagram, all those things. Uh, going forward with the introduction, the GPIO. GPIO is the generic pin of microprocessor or microcontroller. A generic pin in the sense, it does not assigned with the any functionality. For example, in today's electronics microprocessor, we have lot of custom interfaces like I2C, SPI or SDIO, lot of interfaces are available. It does not mean to have it any kind of interface. It can be a generic interface which can be interfaced with any pin. For example, if you want to simulate any other interfaces, custom interfaces, then you can able to do with that uh, this generic pin by toggling or by reading from that uh, all those things can be done with the generic by generic GPIO pin basically it has the property either it can be configured as input or output and uh, it has operating at digital logics either high or low and uh, output pins are writable and uh, whatever we have written it can be readable and in case if we configure that um, GPU as input pin the writing we can able to read that the pin status and uh, writing over the pin does not have any effect basically and uh, pin can also be configured as whichever, whichever pins are configured as an input it can also be configured as an interrupt for example we have some keyboard got connected with that or key connected with that uh, GPU and it configured as a input whenever we press the key it can able to generate the interrupt to the micro microprocessor and as we discussed it does not have any predefined purpose it can interface with any uh, IC any uh, any interfaces but depends upon that we have to simulate for example if you are going to connect with that LED and then you have to configure that this pin then a GPU as output and you can update the status into the LED or else if suppose you are configuring as a connecting with the keypad and you wanted to read that the keypad information it can be configured as input and if you if the performance is needed more little more then you can configure it as a interrupt as well that and moving forward with the functional diagram we have the functional diagram a simple functional diagram it will be having port data register and uh, port pin status register and uh, basically here we have that pin it's a processor output pin and we have the simple three registers we demonstrated here for example the port x dot n that is something like a uh, port a and uh, pin number two considering that x is the a and n is the 2 port a dot 2 which has this direction register which controls the direction either the pin data should go to the port pin or port pin should reach that pin status register by configuring the dire uh, direction re direction you can configure that uh, whether the gpu has to work as a input or output that it can be done whenever we configure it as a output whatever be the data available over here that will be reflected reflected on the port pin 
whenever we configure as uh, input the spin status will get updated over here basically and we have some other parameters and registers to discuss we have some functional register as gpo data register the data register for example whenever that uh, gpo is configured as output whatever be the data in this register will be driven out to the output pin and we have gpo direction register basically it controls the direction of gpo either input or output for example if you set the gpo direction register bit 1 then it will act as a output if it is 0 then it will act as a input and uh, gpo pin status register that contains the value of corresponding pin input pin basically for example if the pin is uh, high voltage uh, something like with respect to 3.3 if the pin is available with the 3.3 volt then it the pin status will be high and if it is ground low or zero volt the pin is zero volt then the pin status will be zero and we have if whenever the configuration of gpo as a input we can also configure that enable the interrupt of that interrupt functionality of the input basically interrupt configuration register will used to configure different sensitivity options for example whenever low level sensitivity high level sensitivity or rising edge sensitivity or falling edge sensitivity for example whenever the pin is continuously low then it will detect as a interrupt for in case of low level sensitivity and in case of high level whenever the pin uh, the pin is continuously high it will be it will be detected as a interrupt and uh, in case of rising edge for example that whenever the transition happens from zero to high that is the rising edge of the gpo it will be detected as an interrupt and uh, falling edge is something like whenever the the pin transacts uh, pin has transferred its states from high to low it will be treated as an in interrupt occurred by configuring this interrupt configured registers and we also have interrupt mask register which will be used to enable or disable the interrupt basically and we also have that in gpo interrupt status register which will be for example whenever the gpo interrupt mask is enabled and configured with the interrupt is configured with corresponding sensitive sensitivity whenever that interrupt occurs this interrupt status register will be set on mostly this register will be clear on read basically for example whenever we read that gpo interrupt status register it will be cleared and it will wait for another interrupt has occurred or not whenever it the next interrupt occurs gpo interrupt status bit will be set this bit this the gpo interrupt status will be updated whenever that uh, interrupt mask has been enabled for example the whenever the interrupt enabled during the time of interrupt enabled the interrupt processor will monitor the interrupt and uh, whenever it occurs it will interrupt status register will be set accordingly this is the brief overview about the gpo and its functional register thanks for watching you can contact me at uh, nvharihan at nevtech.com. Thank you for con watching. You can subscribe me on my YouTube. Thank you.